Lindsay Griffin here, um, and I'm doing a response to somebody's sock count uh, here on YouTube. My Fringe Elements video, okay? My Fringe Elements video um, had uh, somebody uh, log in and get into my comments section and blither on about race and how that matters and that wasn't even the point of my video, okay? My point of that video was this. Fringe Elements doesn't care about other people on the street. He only cares about people who can prove themselves economically. And given how shallow a metric that is, I don't care for that. Ergo, I unsubscribed. That's why the video's called Why Unsubscribed. So, this guy, who I suspect is someone I've already blocked and is trying to use a stock account, I mean, it's only been up for a couple months, so, you know, I'm just putting two and two together here. Um, okay, so, like, here's how it goes. This video is a response to that stock account. This video has no comments. You cannot comment on this video. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go into the two sources I finally dragged kicking and screaming out of this guy and I'm going to go into why they're complete bunk. Okay? There is no gap in quote race, unquote. I put race in quotation mark because it isn't a proper scientific term. Okay. Two, two things here. Okay. First, standardized tests, the interpretation of racial and ethnic gaps, and Minnesota trans, uh, transracial adoption study. Alright, where do I begin? Um, okay, first of all, the transracial adoption study. If you take kids who've been bounced around uh, the foster families or gone through adoption, they don't tend to do as well in schools because the fact that somebody in their life during those infinitely formative years chose to abandon them to strangers or to other people, family, friends, whoever, and in this case someone who didn't even look like their parents, is a massive element of uh, confusion to, for them, and it's a confusion for a study as well. This study was, if you ask me, a complete waste of money. Uh, it had two periods of data collection, uh, 76 and 86, I believe it was, um, and it wasn't published till 92, I should tell, uh, that is, the second half of it wasn't published till 92. Uh, three people looked into re-examining its findings. I believe one was Arthur Jensen in 98, uh, and Levin and Lynn in 1994. Even the authors got down and just finally admitted, and this is all in the interpretation section of the Wikipedia page, uh, the true causes of racial differences in IQ or in any other characteristics are likely to be too complex to be captured by locating them on a single hereditarianism or environmentalism dimension. That is citable. That is from Waldman, I.D., Weinberg, R.A., and Scar, S., 1994. Racial group differences in IQ in the Minnesota Transracial Adoption Study are applied to Levin and Lynn Intelligence, uh, page 19, uh, number 19, pages 29 through 44. Um, as far as standardized tests and the interpretation of racial and ethnic gaps, uh, I suggest you look into Angela Lee Duckworth's uh, research into what she calls grit, which basically uh, says uh, why some kids succeed regardless of IQ. Uh, then I highly recommend uh, from the same series of TED Talks, uh, Sir Ken Robinson and his take on why standardized testing is good, yet modern schooling needs to be multidisciplinary uh, to embrace the different kinds of kids out there because mod modern schooling is based on the idea of uniformity and that, quite frankly, just doesn't stack up with reality. So, there will be no comments available on this video for that I, for the rational, uh, nice individuals who like me, I apologize. 
However, if you know how just ridiculously loudly the race realists, uh, which I agree with Hannibal's Victor 13, should be called the real racists, whine about being proven wrong, well, you'll understand why I'm doing this. So, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I've looked into it. There is no solid science behind it. Everything that you see that is held up is a misinterpretation of given data. It's always a game of shadows or a shell game around, I don't want to admit that I'm wrong. So, guys, seriously, we can all grow up and just admit that there's only motivation and untapped human potential and the people that get in the way of expressing that. Thank you very much for your time. And may whatever we believe in have mercy on us all for having to look into this again because these people won't shut up.